If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Yesterday, unfortunately, so I have to work on this. You will adopt your There he is. It's not specific taxes. You love Bob? You yeah, love of God. course. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves North Baltimore Product Club coach Bob Bowman. And what's not to love? At meets, on deck, Bob's a lot of fun. Nice to Wait, no, you're not getting that close to me, are you? Now Bob has a mass, perhaps the single greatest pro swim club in history. Three-time Olympic medalist, Yannick Agnew. Olympic gold medalist, Connor Dwyer. Pool and open water Olympic gold medalist, Os Maluli. Gold medalist, Matt McLean. Six-time Olympic medalist, Alison Schmidt. U.S. Butterfly National Champion, Tom Luxinger. Open water and pool elite, Becca Mann. Olympic medalist and world champion, Lotta Frist. NCAA champion and world champion, Chase Kalich. And Michael Phelps, the greatest swimmer of all time, if he officially comes back. How did this happen? Did Bob plan it? No. As a matter of fact, I, uh, after the Olympics, I didn't even think I would be coaching. All the athletes I worked with either went to college or retired. And uh, when I came back for Chase and Allison last summer to do a camp, and I promised them that I would go through the summer, um, we just had some people ask to come, and then they just kind of kept coming. I was very surprised. While Coach Bowman was surprised, it sounds like Connor Dwyer was pivotal behind the scenes recruiting a lot of his world-class buddies to join the Super Club. What prompted the, the move is basically hanging out with Connor for the last year. He kind of comes and hangs out with me on his downtown in LA. He encouraged me to kind of come and check it, check it out, which I did. And I'm, I'm liking it. I think what Bob is, uh, has to offer is, is great and I think I can learn a lot from him. Are the pros hanging out? Are they living together? I think it's important to have your own space, but we also, I do think, are very compatible. Uh, I think one of the reasons that we do live separately is because we're all very on our own when we were moving there, and you know, the way you sign a lease is generally for a period of a year or so, but it also came together very last minute. The pros from our life in the run-up to the 2016 Olympic Games, it's going to be a marathon. We all witnessed how Coach Bowman guided Michael Phelps through his ups and downs between 2009 and 2012. How does Bob keep extraordinary talent engaged and motivated? Well, I think that's a tough part because, you know, they have a lot of people telling them how great they are, and my job is to find ways to show them that they can be even better. So so it has a lot to do with goal setting and how you direct the practices towards certain goals. Uh, it has to do with setting a standard for them so that they're not really competing against other people, they're competing against the standard for themselves. And I think that's the key to success with the real high performers. You know these guys are crushing it in practice. What's an NBAC practice like? Ask the lowest man on the totem pole, Tom Luxinger. Not an Olympic medalist, but not chopped liver. He's a U.S. Butterfly champion who, apparently, according to the pros, challenges guys on a lot of sets. I do my best. Um, sometimes it, it works out better than other times. Um, you know, when we do these long aerobic freestyle sets, sometimes I have to constantly remind myself that I'm the only one in that freestyle group that doesn't have an Olympic gold medal. Is it intimidating? Yes and no. Um, I've gotten to know these guys really well over the next past couple months, and they're my friends. They're my social circle. So, um, you know, I don't look at Yannick or Matt or Os with, you know, any kind of difference that I would anyone else. If you're a talented kid, you're 14, 15, 16 years old, and you want this lifestyle, you want to develop into a pro swimmer, what's the great Bob Bowman going to tell you? Learn the best technique you can. It's got to have technique first. Everything starts with that. And then after that, you start going through the various forms of conditioning and goal setting and things like that that are going to help you improve. But technique is the key to success in this sport. Has Bob Bowman noticed the explosion of young talent? Young kids swimming six, seven, and eight events at competitions. And does he think his star, Michael Phelps, made that impact? I have noticed that there are a lot of good young kids swimming lots of events. Just in this meet, you've got Andrew Selescar, really rising star, swims the same events that you know, kind of our guys swim. And I think that Michael probably set the standard in that, and Ryan as well, you know, coming to these meets, swimming a lot of different events, and doing them all on a high level. And I think it really has redefined the expectations, and that's another thing that the suits did for us. You know, a lot of people complain, me as well, about those suits, but one thing it did give us was a different bar to shoot for for these records. And now that we're starting to achieve some of these world records that were done in a suit, that has a really positive impact on what we're doing. Uh, well, 
Well, we're leaving for a Colorado training camp in February. Uh, we'll be up in Colorado for 27 days. And then, yeah, it's a long time. Uh, and then we are going to Brazil for that meet down in Brazil, which we're all very excited for. Pro meet. Yes, the pro meet down in Brazil. We're doing all the Grand Prix except Orlando. Uh, we'll be in Colorado for Orlando. Um, and then I believe after Charlotte Grand Prix, we pick up and we go to Colorado again for another three weeks. And then uh, World Championship Trials, World Pan Pack Trials, World Championship Trials, and hopefully Australia after that.